What's up, losers? Today we're gonna start this video off with a unboxing from what is it behind the camera? Ooh, it's a box that we need to unbox. So this box is kind of taped up and we have to find a way to open it. We're gonna start the video off with this, then we're gonna go head up the hill. This box right here was sent to me by Ballistics, which is a snowboard shop in Auckland. So if you wanna go check them out, here is their Instagram. And I think the brand of the stuff that is in this box was sent to me through Ballistics. Yeah, thanks to that brand, but I'm not gonna mention it right now because you're gonna see what's in this box. I'm going to use the sharp edge of one of Jonas's old snowboards to open this box. That worked great! Mm. Aw, oh, yeah! That's right. Let's see what's in this. Ooh, some new goggles. Let's check them out real quick. Let's. Mm. Ooh, some black ones. Nice. Ah uh, yeah. Oh yeah, that's steezy right there. I like that. Mm. Mm. Thank you so much to the guys at Oakley and Dean at Ballistics. If you guys want to go check out all of their stuff, their stuff will be here again. And yeah, I'm pretty hyped on these new goggles. They're the same as my other ones, they're just black. Yeah, I'm psyched. Oh man, what a beautiful day up here on Kadrona. Look at that. Just look at it. Oh my gosh. But it's so crazy how much snow has melted. That hill right there used to have a lot more snow on it last time I came up, and now look at how bare it is. That, that is a bare hill. I swear every year in spring you show up one day and it's just like all the snow is gone and it's just full spring mode. I think today is that day. Today is the day where I pulled up and I was like wow where did all the snow go? But I'm okay with that because I'm a fan of spring riding. It's warm, slushy and, and nice you know. On today's episode of snowboarding we have to find out what is in this box that was sent to me. This one right here. But before we get into that box, I think we should go do a little bit, a little bit of shredding. Let's go do some shredding right now, and we'll come back to this box in a minute. <sighs> Snowboarding, right now. What do you guys think of these goggles? You guys like the white ones or the black ones more? I'm gonna put a poll up here. You guys tell me. I'm kind of digging these. Yeah, I like them. What do you think, Tian? I think you should be riding dragons. That's coming from a dragon boy. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, thank you. Don't worry. Yeah. What's happening, Tian? Round two. Round two. We try. Let's try that trick that he didn't get the other day. Yeah. This is the day. Yeah, we get it. Right yes. Now. Let's do it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Just finished up here at this rail uh, because the the whole mountain is pretty much closed right now. Yeah. Don't know if we got it yet, but I guess you'll just have to watch the final edit to find out. Coming soon. <laughs> Cut. Oh. Wait, what is it? Yeah, it's like that, but use both hands. Oh, you want the full like crocodile? Type. Yeah, yeah. Now that was some fun snowboarding on my snowboard. But now it's what you've been waiting for, the contents of this box. 
I was sent this product from a, from a company and it is a snowboard backpack. Not that I already have a snowboard backpack. And here it is right here. The Feather Rider. I'm not 100% sure how this thing works. I think you put it over yourself like a satchel and then something else happens. It didn't really come with any instructions at all as to how to use it as a snowboard bag. You got some pockets in the front. One that looks like it's meant for a laptop because you're taking your laptop with you when you snowboard. I'm trying to figure out how this thing's meant to be used with a snowboard, but I can't figure it out. I just meant to just put it through that bit because you can do that with any backpack. Like, do you just, you just put it through here? Is that it? I don't think this is right. I think I've done it wrong. I've definitely not done this right. This is like strangling me out. I have no clue. I wish they sent me some instructions or like something on how to use it. Yo. Yo, I just got the backpack and I have no idea how to use it. Like how do you how do you use the backpack? Oh, oh, that's how you use it. Oh, right, yeah, you put it on your back. Oh, thank you. I think I got it. After looking online as to how to use this thing, I think I know how to put my snowboard on now. From the looks of it, the board kind of goes on it like that somehow. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah, oh, rad. After 10 minutes of trying this, I think I've found the closest way that the dude's doing it in the picture. Like this. I think this is how he has it in the picture? I mean, it feels all right. I don't know if this is correct though. They could really do some instructions that come with the bag. It looks pretty cool. Like how small it is on my back and stuff. Like that's, that's cool. I don't know if this is any better or any worse than a normal snowboard bag. Like the one I have now which is just this burden one. And if you guys want to go check them out, uh, the link will be in the description if you want to. I think we should send this thing on a little bit of a durability test. Not a scratch. It's not like this brand claimed that their backpack was indestructible or anything. <sighs> oh well, it passed the stress test anyway! You ready for something you were never expecting? If you play a bongos wrong, you'll make the volcano very angry. Let me tell you, any normal bag would have crumbled under the circumstances of that stress test because, I, I mean, I would know out of anyone, I'm a certified bag testerer. I'm also sitting in the back seat of my car because there's a bunch of people walking around outside and I'm scared to talk to my camera in front of people. Just walking around Wanaka, very, very beautiful today. Wow. It's crazy to think how close we are to the end of the season as well. Today, as I'm filming this, it's the 5th of October, and the last day on the mountain is the 21st of October. That seems like quite a while, but trust me, it's gonna go by so quickly. And the weird thing is, last year the season ended on the 9th of October, so if this was last year, we'd have three days left. Four days, we'd have four days left. Quick maths! Pretty wild. Pretty, pretty wild, yes. What a beautiful place. Wow. Got some people paddle boarding out there. Very cool. So I'm gonna do my best to make the rest of the videos this season absolute bangers. Not like that's what I'm trying to do anyway, but we're gonna make them even more bangin'. I love getting stared out while I film myself in public. There's a man on the bridge over there. Something that I've never really gotten fully comfortable with when making YouTube videos is filming myself in public. And I just noticed then when I did it, I got so many eyes on me. I don't know. I guess it's just something that I'll never really fully get comfortable with. I mean, like, I've gotten, I'm so much better at it than I used to be, but still not super comfortable with it. <laughs> 
Oh, make sure to subscribe. Sweet and old who we are. It'll take five days by car. What's going on with